Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro where we continue our video user guide for APT by looking at the temperature and sky tab in APT settings. So let's get going. Now the temperature and sky tab of your settings controls the uh, environmental factors that are around you. Uh, it displays what you want in your temperatures to be displayed in degrees or Fahrenheit, that's simple enough. Now if you don't have auto focusing enabled and you want to do manual refocusing uh, you can tell it what you said here tells you how many degrees it needs to change before it reminds you you need to refocus of course zero disables it um, and same with the dew point if your dew points within the certain degrees you set here it will remind you you need to uh, refocus but that's only if you're doing manual refocusing rather than using auto focus and then you can set up a calibration maybe your figured out that where your sensors are positioned are slightly different to real ones uh, the real environment right around it you may want to set an offset to uh, adjust those and that's what you do in your temperature and humidity calibration then you have your settings for your uh, temperature sensor to use um, whether you've got depends on which ones you've got uh, to be set up in your devices if you're not using any of these you can set no additional sensor and uh, while this disables these ones it will still work with the uh, focus motor sensor most people have so that's just what you have there on the right hand is your sky quality tracking um, you can either turn this on or turn it off depending on how you want to do it pardon me um, and enables automatic or manual entry uh, of the sky quality details over here in your tab here for your sky quality um, you can pick the format you want it to do it in and um, if you're using a sensor you can set it here um, so the SQL meter is a manual entry or if you want to enter a manual estimation of your own you can use that one uh, if you have a an Eagle 4 or 5 I think they both have the sensor um, built into them so you can set that for those or one of Unihedron's SQM meters um, I'm hoping eventually to get an LU because I'd rather not have to go out and manually do the entries for it uh, if I can get my hands on one but that's all, what happens here so the right hand side deals with what's in your sky quality here um, and the left hand side is just to do with getting your temperatures uh, and that's it for the temperature and sky tab uh, wishes all clear skies and see you in the next video